ladies, it's me again. Um, I am experimenting in a couple of different locations in my house, so the shadows might be a little weird. I don't know how the lighting is quite yet, so bear with me because I'm trying to get these videos out for you. So today I am coming to you with my 2014 progress 2015 goals video. Um, 2014, 2014. Yeah, um, 2014 was a rocky one for me. Uh, I'll be honest, my hair journey took a really back seat this year and it kind of needed to, I guess. I had a lot of changes, a lot of personal changes, professional changes, romantic changes. For the better part of a year, my hair journey was kind of non-existent. Just like any time in life, there's sunshine and there's rain, and 2014 had a lot of rain. Um, so I got a major trim in June. I'll link that video <laughs> of me ranting about that down below. And I juiced crazy after that, and then for the later half of the year, I kind of just coasted. I was exhausted, my mind was on other things, the hair journey was in the back seat, and yeah. I'd like to say I stayed where I was. I'd say my hair length is roughly where it was in June, it might be a little longer. But I suffered a lot of breakage on the sides and like crown of my hair, and that's something I've never experienced in my hair journey. My hair doesn't break like that but I experienced major thinning in my sides like so much so that I cut my hair angled and like layered it a little bit trying to trying to get rid of some of that thinning and I don't it didn't get rid of all of it because it's a lot of thinning um I used a lot of heat in the fall <laughs> I and not only did I use heat to straighten my hair for the past year and a half, close to most of my hair journey, I roller set and pressed my roots. But I got so lazy and anxious, I started blow drying and flat ironing my hair root to tip and my hair got pretty damaged. So I went back to the salon for another trim and I don't have any grapes about it this time. I mean, if you have dead hair and it needs to go, it needs to go. It's frustrating when your hair is alright and someone cuts off more than they need to, but if you have damage, it's got to go. So 2014 was an off year for me. At the beginning of the year, one of my goals was to reach waist length. And I would say I came pretty close to grazing it a number of times. Never enough for me to claim it. But I, I got close, so I'm not discouraged. And I think that I can do it. And I think 2015 is my year. So I'm going to go ahead and show you ladies the progress on camera. The pictures are kind of all over the place. <laughs> um, a lot. That's just a reflection of the year, I guess. But yeah, I'll show you my 2014 progress now. <laughs> So that was my progress. I can't really, I guess, show you my current length. I guess that picture in the salon was pretty close to my current length because my hair is not straight anymore. Okay, so my 2015 goals. I'm going to keep it simple this year. I don't have a ton of goals. I just want to get back to the health that I had in the beginning of 2014. One thing I want to do is regain control of my nape. My nape has been suffering. Um, I wore my hair straight the better part of the fall, maybe that has something to do with it, but I'm putting myself on a nape challenge. Basically my plan for my nape is just to section off the broken area, moisturize it, and keep it bantooed up under my hair. That's actually how I have it now. You can't really tell, um, I mean obviously I have a scarf on and my hair is, you know, doing what it's doing. but. Even when my hair is down, you can't really tell. So I'm just moisturizing that area and I'm going to try and keep it up for six months. Um, when my hair is down, I will band to it and have it up and off of me. 
my hair is up, I think I'm going to moisturize it and braid it and just put that braid into the bun or up into the ponytail. So yeah, I'm regaining control of my name because it's gotten a little ridiculous in 2014. I'll put a picture that I am ashamed to show, but I'm going to. So yeah, the second thing I want to do this year was find compromise styles. I wore my hair straight so much in the fall because I was just tired of maintaining it. I was tired of doing it. I was tired of the way I looked um, and I just wanted my hair straight. And even when I stopped wearing it straight and told myself I needed to lay off the heat, I was still not really satisfied. I, I felt like I, I still felt like I hadn't enjoyed my hair fully. So I said I wanted to find compromise styles, compromise styles that I don't know were smoother or not as textured or showed more length or something like I was just tired of my tight kinky braid outs I'm probably not making sense this I would say was a compromise style um, you know it has decent hang time and it's a looser texture I guess it sort of looks like my Bantu knot out but it was a flexi set on air dried hair so yes, I would just like to find some more compromise styles that look different than the nice, that look different than my same old braid out and that can give me a little bit more length and a little bit more tameness and they're sort of in between straight hair and textured hair. I want to commit to two to three, probably three, salon trims this year. My ends really got away from me this year um, and it all kind of happened towards the end of the year at the point if you check out my June texturizer update video, my ends were alright then, and they were alright for the earlier part of the year too, but the second part of the year, my ends just started going crazy. Again, I think it was because I was blow drying and flat ironing my hair, which is a huge no-no for me. My hair can't handle that, personally. So, um, yeah, my ends just got raggedy, so I'm committing to three salon trips this year. I already went to get one in January, which I included the picture before but I'll put it up again I'll get another one in the summer and then another one I don't know in the fall or towards the end of the year but I gotta keep up with those trims because I have some ends that need to go and I also just have really straight ends from um, an old keratin treatment uh, I'll discuss that in my Q&A video but yeah I have stringy ends from that and the rest of my hair is really textured and yeah I don't like it so I'm getting more trimmed. I also am putting myself on a skincare journey. I think I said in my Q and A video I would address I would address a skincare question here. I am tired of my skin. I have problem skin. I always have acne prone skin, and I'm approaching my 30s. I think we have this view when we're in our teens that our hormones will taper off in our 20s and everything will be fine and that is not the story for everyone and that is not the story for me I'm almost 30 and my skin is almost just as volatile as it was when I was a teenager I have different issues um, you know I don't have as much cystic acne but I still have breakouts all the time the texture is just not as good as I want it to be on my face and I want flawless skin and I'm I as as somebody with acne prone skin, I, I thought that was something that I would never have and I was okay with that. You know, you learn yourself and you learn what you can and can't do. But now after being on a hair journey, I think I'm selling myself short. I think that anybody can have long hair, so I think why can't everybody have flawless skin if they're willing to do what it takes? It takes different things for different people. Some people it comes naturally for, some people have to work for it. It's the same with the hair journey. Some people's hair grows to their butt no matter what they eat or do, and some people have to work at it, but everyone can have it. So I'm putting myself on a skincare journey. I don't really know what that means yet, um, but I'm researching methods and I'm doing that this year. This year, I want flawless skin. So that's mostly it for my 2015 goals. I want to regain control of my nape. I want to find reasonable compromise styles that do not compromise the health of my hair and I want flawless skin which I know doesn't have anything to do with the hair journey but it's one of my 2015 physical goals I also would like to make it to waist length 
I said that last year. I hope it can happen. I think it can if I do what it takes, but um, I guess that all depends on my ability to find my balance again in 2015 because I lost it. So I hope this video explains where I've been, what's been up and the state of my hair. I don't know how good of a job I did. I haven't filmed in a while regularly, so I'm kind of having to get back into the swing of things. Um, if this one is any indication, this might not have been a very exciting video, but I just try to get the information to you guys. So, um, I had a hard year. I fell off the horse. I'm trying to get back on it. And, yeah. Team 2015 is my year. Sometimes you just get the wind straight and knocked out of your sails. Knocked out of you. And you gotta crawl before you can walk again. And this is just my year getting me back on my feet. I want to get my hair back healthy. It's not horribly unhealthy. Um, but I'm not where I was at the peak A game of my hair journey. So I want to be back in my peak A game. And just get a little more length. You know, whether it's waist length or not. I don't know. I mean, once you're mid-back length, I feel like it shouldn't be that long to waist length, but um, I guess I'm to blame for that. So, this was just my short video letting you ladies know how 2014 went and where I'm hoping 2015 goes, and hope you're along for the ride. If you have anything you'd like to see, leave it down below. Um, I'm really, really busy with my new job, and filming has been difficult but I have not forgotten you and I'm gonna try and find a way to fit more filming into 2015 wish me luck and I'll see you ladies on the other side bye